So, Richard, the, uh, the compact primes uh, go in uh, transmission stops or T-stops. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a little bit different than the F-stops on the ZEs. Can you explain that to us, please? Sure. Yeah, F-stop is uh, calculated. So it's, uh, it's basically it's a calculated aperture. It's done mathematically to determine the, uh, the light throughput on a lens based on its design. Uh, T-stop is actually measured light through the lens. And it's just a different standard that was adopted by uh, filmmakers to, uh, to enable them to use uh, lenses from a variety of different manufacturers on set. So once a set is uh, basically it's lit for a certain speed lens, they can then go back and forth between a, a prime lens and a zoom lens from different manufacturers. If they're all rated at the same speed or if they, uh, they stop it down to you know, the, the pre-selected T-stop, the light throughput on the lens is all going to be identical you know, across all manufacturers where you may see a little bit of variation on, uh, you know, with f-stops. So uh, the equivalent, uh, let's say, f2 lens we have in the ZF2 and the, Z and the ZE line is actually a T2.1 in a compact prime. And that, uh, that little bit of light loss is basically the absorption of light through the glass as it passes through. That, that's basic difference.